Well, hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Testing Academy. And you have asked lot of lot of questions. And in this today video, I'm going to answer with my 11 years experience. This is gonna be amazing, amazing video. And make sure you stick to the end because I have some amazing announcement. Let's start with the questions. All right. So the first question is basically from the Indra Sai, right? Which is what's your package right now and in which company you are working on? Seriously, the first question. Okay, my package is very simple, guys. I am earning enough to eat three times a day. <laughs> I think this is the wrong question to start with, right? And uh, you can go on LinkedIn, you can find my company, right? It is open. Okay, second question, important one. So Swati is asking, I can't build the confidence as an automation tester, even if I have done classes many, many times. See, I understand this thing. I understand this thing, very important. What I have done, see, even I was at the same position where I have learned some Java from some of the famous institute right i've learned java but again the problem was that i was not confident i i was not getting any kind of confidence why the reason was very simple and let me tell you very important point which i wanted to give you again if there is a course which basically give you in three months or four months you can learn something right but they are exactly doing is you they are just motivating you and they are just kickstarting you something right again you will not get confidence in three or four months to be honest right what you need to do is that you have to practice coding and especially related to the automation things like for example if we talk about selenium rest assured and core java i'm talking about only three things right now you will get a confidence when you do more and more practice that is very very important see practice is ongoing right now i have like 11 years experience almost like i still practice i still go to the lead code and try out some of the questions in java why the reason is very simple because you cannot forget right you cannot have a confidence until you do it regularly that it was important right motivation will give you a kickstart but habit you have to make do one thing give almost like three to four hour per week basis right take out some time do hacker rank challenges do lead code challenges learn something new learn again you don't have to learn one time see i'm telling you again automation thing you have to learn like two times or three times sometimes you have to take like two time courses to learn something new trust me it is true nobody is telling you it is true you have to learn the concepts to get a clarity right the more you learn the more repetitive nature you will do the more you will basically understand right that's a very important question right that's how you will get a confidence i'm 100 sure right and if you want to join i think a job ready automation tester is uh, ready right for april batch you can definitely join as that dot live slash become join it uh, there is a heavy discount go in it and you can see me live and you can ask more questions and we can have group discussions okay so next question from the s John, what will be the future of testing? How will be the impact the AI and ML in the testing? What we should do to overcome this? Right, very important question. See, future of testing, I don't think in next five years there is a major changes, right? Because software testing right now it is a part of STLC, right? It's core part of STLC right now. So the important point which I want to highlight: AI and ML, these are the things which are basically coming. Right now, if you know Chat GPT, right? I'm using personally Chat GPT to increase my productivity, right? I'm basically taking help from it, right? So they will try to assist you as possible for next two three years right again for if we talk about replacement and future nobody knows to be honest nobody knows because i was reading uh, a very famous interview he was a very uh, famous Harvard professor he was telling in 2030 right developer jobs are also at a risk so if developers are at risk what about tester they are also at risk right so of course ai is definitely coming start preparing and learn about it right that's the important thing divanj is asking i have a career gap of two years right now i'm switching into the automation or manual test as a fresher how difficult to get a job how do i prepare it right see if you have a career gap of two years i told you multiple times if you have a career gap of two years three years right it, it can be easily managed if you talk to hr properly let them know about it that yes this is my situation i had a medical emergency i had i was preparing for something two years three years i have seen multiple times people are getting hired. i have seen till seven years there is not much problem where if you want to switch to automation or even the manual testing concepts right but it will be a difficult process it's not an easy process right it is not a traditional easy process where directly you will apply you will get a call no you have to basically first of all try the referral thing where if somebody is already working let them know that okay i have a career gap can you apply my resume to your company i can see there is an opening this is what the important thing is second important thing i can you can directly reach out to hr right have a relationship with them connect with them linkedin let them know that you have a career gap and there is an opening in your company then see you have to reach them in a proper way that's what the important thing is if you are just emailing them blasting them with email cold email doesn't properly and it will be a difficult journey to be honest it will be a difficult journey it is not an easy journey to be honest with the people who have a career gap it is not a easy journey to switch into automation or manual job or even a normal qa job it will be difficult but it is possible i have seen this multiple times people are doing it even
इवन वी हैव हायर्ड ए पर्सन हु सेवन ईयर्स ऑफ गैप राइट नाउ वी हैव हायर्ड रिसेंटली वाई एस क्यू एल इज यूज फॉर टेस्टिंग सुमृत इज आस्किंग सी एस क्यू एल इज इम्पोर्टेंट आई मीन लास्ट थ्री कंपनीज लेट मी टेल यू विद इलेवन सिक्स लास्ट थ्री कंपनी एवरीवेयर वी वर यूजिंग और वेरियंट ऑफ एस क्यू एल वी वर यूजिंग माई एस क्यू एल पोस्ट ग्रेस एस क्यू एल राइट नाउ वी आर यूजिंग माई एस क्यू एल सो एस क्यू एल वेयर यू विल बी बेसिकली वर्किंग विद सम काइंड ऑफ क्यूरीज यू हैव टू फेच ए डेटा यू हैव टू वेरीफाई सम डेटा राइट इवन ए प्रॉपर लॉग इन वी आर टेस्टिंग राइट वी हैव टू वेरीफाई डेटा फ्रॉम दी डेटा बेसिस राइट सो डेटा बेस इंटीग्रिटी एंड अदर थिंग्स आर इंपॉर्टेंट सो लर्निंग एस क्यू एल इज मैंडेटरी इट इज नॉट इवन अ चॉइस इट इज मैंडेटरी दट यू शुड बी अवेयर अबाउट द बेसिक एस क्यू एल विच आई थिंक have prepared over a course i think in the few hours you can basically get all the details around the sql if you sit around for a week you will learn a uh, sql basic queries and important dml ddl commands i think that will be enough samriti so you can check it out on the azdot.life/become or azdot.life/courses where i have done it. next question okay amol is asking can i directly go to the automation and what will be the my first package and yes it is possible freshers can directly jump to the automation there is no problem in that case again you have to learn you have to do some self learning for the manual testing concept that this is what i have seen what will be your first package in india i can say it is it will be around i think 4 4 and a half you can start with right even you can start with 3.5 that is also fine lpa which is lakhs per annum that i am talking about but i have seen nowadays but we have hired we have hired 7 plus 8 plus also as a automation tester so right now automation tester as a fresher they are getting almost similar salary as a developer it's an important thing right explore with sudeep sudeep is asking can you tell me the package of automation tester after 4 years 4 years i think you can easily expect 15 to 25 around this package right so 12 to 15 i would put a range because i'm not sure right where you are how much skill you have it depends on skill wise also if you are good with the automation knowledge if you are if people know you about it right for example when i was there at 4 years people know about me right so i got a higher package as compared to other people so so the, it uh, again depends upon your knowledge but again uh, i think you can expect from 12 to 25 this is what i think you can easily manage okay and go with the higher side this is very important next question is sarika what is the best choice other than the automation for manual tester with the seven years experience front end testing to such thing see there is no best choice to be honest there is no best choice if you are a manual tester what you can do is you can go to etl testing where you will be testing out the sql related things you can go to rpa right you can go to product manager role you can go to scrum master role you can become agile coach you can become a ba you can go with other devops roles right this is what i have seen after 5 years 6 years you have enough knowledge about the manual testing concepts and basics of the product right so now easily you can switch to apart from automation you can shift to other domains also right so sarika you can try out all the things i have told you total 9 years experience sarvana is asking in the manual testing in single mnc our current ctc is very less i understand this situation very well uh, sarvana and wanted to reskill myself to switch to new company what do you suggest see i would suggest you to get some knowledge of automation cyber side this is what i have seen i have seen people with 14 years of manual testing switching to automation this is possible 100% possible i have seen it multiple times so again if you are into a single mnc definitely your ctc will be very very low because in mnc's you don't see a higher increments in the ctc's or salary as compared to that so if you have watched my previous video right i told you how to become a high paying software right in the first point was basically switching at the right moment so after 2 years or 3 years i think it's a right time for you to switch so that you can get a higher salary at least 20 to 30 percent this is what i have seen but again for you but i would suggest you is uh, if you can take some automation knowledge that would be great improve your coding if possible or become a subject matter expert into the a e-commerce or if you are working in banking domain become a sme right there you will contribute more have a more leverage and you can earn a more right switch i would suggest if you can switch to another company switch with almost 20 to 30% hike and showcase your automation skills also or your subject matter expert that's the only way where you can increase your package right i hope this helped guys let me know in the chat how was this q and a session if you want more like just type in the more in the comment and job ready automation tester is live guys you can see almost 100 hours of content april we are starting out morning back saturday sunday again right so that you can give 100% people have already placed multiple times you can check out the testimonials right uh, we are covering core java selenium rest assured ci cd aws basics and python basics all the things into this plus you are getting some bonuses also side by side make sure you check out the link below and if you want these kind of videos more let me know in the comments by typing more in the comment i'll see you in the next video